Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is a pretty special vlog, one I'm really excited to put out. A fun round that I played, Nine Holes, at Skylinks in Long Beach. A, a nice course where they have the Long Beach Open. So this is myself, this is me, teeing off on the 10th hole. This is a shortish par 4. You can see me swinging with just my right hand. Kind of trying to get the feeling of being more dominant with my right side. All right, so I'm playing with uh, three friends of mine, who you'll see as we bring them up. So, uh, and I'm playing a competitive match against my friend Michael. I know you guys, that was a good drive, a re really good line, but started too far left, and in this weather, that's not going to um, carry the bunker. It's only 40 degrees when we're playing right now. So it is, uh, the ball's not really going to carry very far at all. This is Michael Ascari, a college player. He's a sophomore in college. He's just about to transfer colleges to start playing at a different place. It's okay. Yeah. Your right side. You're he hit fine. it down the right side. It just lengthens the hole a little bit, but he's in a fine spot. This is a friend of mine from Long Beach, Chase DeYoung. He is a minor league baseball player. It's not going to be too bad, though. A pitcher in the Dodgers you, organization. And he's been yeah, playing golf yeah. now for you just since he get started a little pitching, lucky actually. That it, yeah. you're not Professionally in is when he started. And this is uh, his girlfriend, Christina Longer, Keep Bernhardt's daughter. Be really good. She hit a good shot down the yeah, left-hand side. The ground, it just went left of the bunker. You can see her over there. left. It, that's her bag on the left there. So I'm in the bunker. All right, so today I'm playing a money match against Michael. And Christina and Chase are just playing for fun. But we're going to follow everybody. I hit a good shot. Just uh, It landed on the green and backed up off of it just a little bit. Here goes Christina for her birdie. After she hit a good shot from the left rough. Cool. But you can see the greens are still kind of halfway frozen and very wet too. So... Uh, Kind of tough to read them. I have through the fringe and up the hill a little bit. This is my birdie putt here. So, like I said, super, super cold, especially for us uh, California people. Literally 40 degrees when we started. So, um, trying to get feel is a little tough. That's my brand new putter, my even roll putter that I went down to Carlsbad to get fit for. So, let's see how it works because this is really my first round with it my first nine holes with it anyway all right so I make a par and move on and Michael had hit a very good wedge shot to here and that was for birdie that misses and he uh, makes par on the first hole so we're tied in our match and here's Christina her comebacker for par you can see she's left hand low as well. Yeah, great putt. Swings the club head really freely, which is uh, which is nice. And then here's Chase for par. Chase is a super passionate golfer. He's really, really into it. He uh, comes from a family of golfers. Okay, so moving on to the 11th hole. This is a long par 5. It's interesting because Michael is a subscriber to the channel as well, and he has, he only knows kind of where to aim because he saw Monty Scheinbloom in the Long Beach Open, the vlog I did of Monty playing here. So he's like, oh, okay, I remember this hole. Monty hit it here, Monty hit it there, so that was really funny to hear. I hit it up the right-hand side just near the cart path, and Michael went way to the right. He'll be stuck in the trees a little bit. All right, here's Chase. He is a right-handed pitcher in the Dodgers organization, but God, he swings lefty. Sure. I don't really know why. But he can You're really, really You're generate right on my ball. a ton of club head speed. That went up the right. That's perfect. Christina really good. hit a good yeah, shot down the middle. Okay, guys, it is... It said on the iPhone, it said 40 degrees when we teed off, and it's probably 41 now. And uh, we're at Skylinks, the local place near my house. This is Chase, 
and Christina, and you guys know Michael. And uh, Chase actually had good news yesterday. What happened yesterday, Chase? The Dodgers just added me to the 40-man roster, so I'm eligible to pitch in the big leagues next year. So that's awesome. So he was uh, in the minor leagues for the last four years, or three and a half? Yeah, four. Last four years, Chase has been pitching in the minor leagues between the Blue Jays and the Dodgers, right? Yep. And uh, he's got a fantastic chance of doing something good and getting on the roster, even maybe even for opening day, you think, maybe? Yeah, I think it all depends on, you know, I put myself in a situation to go into spring training competing for a job. So that's awesome. That's, that's all awesome. I can do. And Christina, you get some, some of you guys will have seen her at the Father-Son Challenge because her and her dad, Bernhard Longer, have, uh, Bernhard's had great success at that event. And you're trying to win that it's coming up soon, huh, Christina? That's the goal. So yeah. we're going to see when what we When is that? that? It's the off season now, right? So that's coming it's up? It's the 10th and 11th of December. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So she's gearing up for that big event. Now, if you win that, do you have to turn professional to accept the money? <clears throat> yes, we just kind of play it for fun. My dad, okay. it's, it's a total fun event Oh, of course, for us. of course. So we'll be watching that event on TV, on Golf Channel, I think. Standing here, I'm like, he looks like he's aimed right at yeah. us, and we're just kind of standing there. Yeah, that was actually kind of dangerous to be standing there, because I think he could have been a root or something. So uh, Michael chops out back to the fairway. Remember, the match is really only between Michael and I. Chase and Christina are just playing along. Yeah, super, super low. It only got about a foot, foot off, off the ground, but I advanced it really nicely. Here's Christina from 135 yards. Really nice position at the top of her backswing. And put it on the green. And here's Chase from about the same distance. Chase is actually a right-handed pitcher, but he golfs lefty. And that actually... Um, causes some issues in his golf swing. So uh, here is Michael. Yeah. Good shot there onto the green, but he did have I some trouble. More like, and he'll know, have to like make that for his yeah. par, actually. All right, so I have, this is 100 yards, 54 degree wedge, and after watching that black gold vlog that I did, I saw that I had been standing too close to the ball with my irons and especially with my wedges. So I backed up on it just a little bit and it helped quite a bit. Here's Christina for her birdie. And here's Michael for his par. So this is for a five. I really hate to make a bogey on a par five. But that's what it'll be. So Michael goes to one over par, taps in. And this is for my birdie. So let's see, this is really a early test for this new putter. A lot of you guys have said that I'm crazy for switching putters, but really if you had seen a close up of the face of my old uh, ping answer tee, it was really like half destroyed. So, and I think every once in a while I would get some wacky results from that. So great putt there. So I would get some wacky results from hitting some of those dimples. Here's Chase. Very good putt. So uh, from some of those dents in, that I had put into the grooves on the face, and I knew that I wanted grooves in the face of my new putter, and I read some stuff about the even roll, so uh, I arranged to go down there and trying it out. All right, so uh, Michael's one over par going into the second hole. Didn't hit a great drive there. He's actually way to the right. I think everybody's still kind of warming up at this point. We've now moved to maybe 42 and a half degrees. All right, so I'm one under going into the 12th hole. Not a great takeaway there. See how my right arm bent really early and I kind of rotated away from, kind of horizontally away from the ball. That wasn't great. Chase killed this ball. He carried it, in this weather, he carried it past this bunker that is usually uh, not really able to do in good weather. All right, so uh, I had a good bounce to get back under, under this tree. 
It actually was headed even more left. I actually should hit about a hundred balls from that position there because you can see okay. in that swing how compact my backswing was. And I needed to keep it low under the other tree. So I did a good job. I'm in the greenside bunker. This is where Michael really shines. He's a great wedge player. And he just put that one pretty close. He had problems in the uh, in the trees again. So he actually has to make big that bounce, for his part. Should kick left a little. That's good from there. You're kind of in a hole. So. Yeah, Chase was in kind of a hole in the ground. Advanced it nicely. Christina thinned this a little bit. And instead yeah, of landing. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, she landed. Oh, yeah. At Two the chances hole. at it. I knew that. <laughs> she landed at the hole, rolled up to the backstop area, and came back and almost holed out a second time. So she had two chances at it. So I am in the greenside bunker. Uh, Got to make that for par. So I'm really far away here. And this is where this, this putter that I got is supposed to really shine in these lag putts. Oh, man. But in the air. Go anyway. I went through some serious bumpy area on the green there and I hit it with kind of a muffled stroke so I'll zip through here so I'm way short of the hole here and I'm really gotta concentrate on making these Come on. awesome I'm really happy that I made that because I'm trying to have some good feelings with this new putter and I want to get off on a good foot with it so I'm happy that I made that birdie putt on the last hole and the par putt on birdie. this Birdie! Nice. See, I thought that was a birdie. That was actually for par, he told me later. So Michael stays at one over par. And I moved to even. Long is good. All right, we move on to the 13th hole, 220 yards of par three. Now, uh, we'll let you guys know, if you get a hole in one on this course, you get a free meal at Lascari's Fine Italian Restaurant, <laughs> Michael's father's place. There you go. I don't know how they run their business. They give away free napkins, free ketchup, free... Brand, brand water. Yeah, uh-huh, tap water. He's usually wearing a, a Lascari's hat and shirt. Ooh, your sponsors are gonna be pissed at you. I know. I know. You're gonna have to give away free, free meals. Ignore me. I'm just, there's a, a running joke I have with Michael that he thought was funny the first time we met. All right, so um, Michael hit a poor shot to the right of the green. In the bunker, it's plugged as well, we later saw. This is hybrid. This is this hybrid that I absolutely love, this um, Adams Idea Prototype 1, Tour Prototype. Yeah, to this is my best swing of the day. Free lasagna. Backswing wasn't totally what I'm trying to do nowadays, but the downswing move <laughs> and how I'm starting from the, the top yeah. is and butter? totally awesome. You guys are giving it away. <laughs> yeah, free bread and butter at least because I hit the green. No free lunch. See Michael's face there. <laughs> He's kind of just uh, laughing. It, the sound of it was so solid. Yeah. You just feel like when you hit that shot, you get ahead of it a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, Chase kind of lunged towards the target there like a lot of, we all can do sometimes. All right, so really like this downswing move. What I'm saying is see how much from the top I'm really has this kind of athletic throwing feel that I'm getting more used to. I'm really, really digging it. It's this, uh, all this uh, Tony Lutzak stuff that I'm trying. Christina hit it kind of on the same line as Michael. So Chase and I were on the range the other day and uh, talking about golf instruction stuff. But then you brought up something really interesting that I thought, I thought that, because Chase teaches uh, pitching lessons to kids and, yeah. and even high schoolers. Yeah, I've, I've worked with anybody from, I mean, I've taught an eight-year-old how to you know, balance over the rubber, and then I've even worked with guys that are like two years younger than me heading into college. Cool. So we were talking about something with, uh, those videos I did with Bobby Lopez and uh, also with um, Tony, they're talking about the left shoulder for a righty opening up like way too soon. Like a lot of you guys that are um, struggling with over the top and myself included, like you're at the top 
and that left shoulder is the first thing to go. And you see great players, it kind of stays still and then it opens. And what were you saying in, in pitching, when no, you're I, talking about sequence, you're talking about the, the front doesn't open up the back, the back opens up the front. Right. Tell me that again. If, well, I've learned in pitching and in, in me being a right-handed pitcher, and I know it's going to confuse a lot of you guys because I'm a left-handed golfer, but right. uh, letting the back open the front rather than the front get out of the way for the back to come through. So put your bag down and show me that. Like, show me the wrong way real quick. Talking about... As we're waiting here. Talking about letting, like me, through my delivery, this would be letting the front get out of the way. So to throw your front side in baseball as a pitcher, you go here and then you separate this early and this is just dragging behind you. Yeah. And now this can never be on time. It's but, always late behind right. you. But allowing the back to open the front, having that thought process is staying on and then yeah. eventually this will push this out of the way rather than this getting thrown. A lot of people think the more work they do is going to create velocity, which mm -hmm. I guess would correlate with golf and guys think if they swing harder it's going to create more distance but it's all about efficiency and you know letting allowing your backside to drive and you know this is just a rudder this is where all the power comes from for me and in, in yep. pitching so allowing this to you know drive and stay on line and stay keep this closed mm -hmm. that then creates torque which then creates velocity for me so well, that's about pitching, but when you're talking about anything athletic, I think it, it transfers over to golf because you can see that. That's just, uh, you get that front side open and early and everything, it messes your sequence yeah, up quite a lot. Yeah, there's definitely some similarities, and I think it's all about, you know, kind of the, the what is it, something chain through your yeah, body. And, yeah, like kinematic chain. Exactly, yeah. and you know, allowing everything to be on time and in sync, that's going to create a lot more consistent game, whether it's golf or baseball. All right, well, Chrissy's got a hell of a shot. Yeah, she does. Let's see if she can pull this off. Yeah, Christina's a really bad lie above her feet there, and it didn't, didn't come out the way she wanted it to and left it in the bunker, and... So now this is for, she'll have to fly this in the hole for par. Gets it out nicely, but keeps running it on and does not come back. All right, so back to my match with Michael. So Michael has been all over the place in this hole, actually. He uh, hit it over the other side of the green. And uh, oh, I, right I think he's been in two different bunkers, actually. So he just hit it there. And he'll have that. I think he has that for a six. This is my putt for birdie. This is about Louder. six steps away, 18 feet or so. Just needed to hit it a little harder to get it to go in on that line. So that's a par for me. So Michael yeah. had made a six on that par three. So he moves to four over par. And I'm even par with one birdie and one bogey. All right, this is a dog leg left. Michael remembered this hole from when Monty it? played in the Long Beach Open. And he aimed at the correct spot. All right. Which actually is super dangerous. The correct spot to aim on this hole is the tee box to the next hole. So if there's ever, and, and this course gets very crowded, if there's ever people on it, Wow. Can really get hurt. Yeah. Never heard of it happening, though. Chase just killed this ball. He actually, near that tee box is a cart path. He hit that cart path, and it went just in front of the green. All right, even par at this point. And four up in the match. So I tried to draw it, and instead I uh, hit kind of a weak high fade. But I'm perfectly in the fairway. And Christina Beautiful. hit less than driver, but that, that was a very, very like a penetrating shot, kind of mid-height. Perfect, though. All right, so you can see I'm trying to set up a little further away from the ball. And that was actually really nicely done. Still, I'm not loving, I need to go back to that Tim Yelverton video. I'm not loving my takeaway, but what I'm doing on my downswing is really helping 
a lot of other things. It's almost on automatic from once I get it to the top. Yeah, Chase just thinned his pitch there into the back bunker, even though he was just in front of the, the uh, just in front of the green after that probably 330 yard drive. And he's in that back bunker and took a huge swing, oh, yeah. thinned it into the face. It popped up 30 yards or 30 feet into the air, landed softly, the and then rolled about a foot and a half, maybe two feet from the hole. So he's got to make that for a uh, unlikely par. All right, so here's my birdie putt. I actually landed about halfway between the fringe and the hole and then spun back a lot to get to this point. But so far, this putter is doing really well in the lag putt test. But because of how s super sloped the front of the screen is, I still have about, what is that, five feet, I think, for my par. This is Michael for birdie. He was near that tee box uh, I was talking about. Hi, and then put it to here. Made his par. Stays four over. So I'm even at the moment, and this is to stay even. So this is for my par. And because Michael's a better golfer than me, I know that I need to take advantage of every stroke that he's basically given me from having such a, a rough go at the par three from the last hole. So what I um, lack in just pure golf skill, I'm trying to make up for in just grind mode, basically. So uh, this is crucial. But as I always tell myself, I'm a very, very good putter. And I'll just keep telling myself that, regardless of whether I am or not. I just always say that. I'm a very, very good putter. Yeah. Awesome up and down for Chase. Unlikely. That was awesome. Michael, you're supposed to hit this to the left of that big building out there. See past my head. There's a windsock on the left that you're supposed to hit it at the windsock and draw it off the windsock. Michael hit his ball. Instead, he hit it to the right of the building and faded a little bit. And I did the same thing. I followed him, and we're both in this bunker that is totally not where you're supposed to be. All right, Chase uh, totally killed this drive. The Shot Tracer app does not do slow motion yet, but this went directly at that windsock on the left of that building and faded, and he hit it way down there. It was awesome. And here's Christina in slow motion. I really like the length of her backswing right there, because that's all you need. This is an all right drive, but she wasn't standing back on the tee box with us, and she didn't hear me say that this whole sharply, sharply dog legs left. So uh, she actually hit it straight when she should have hit it over some trees. So you can see she stretched out the the hole a little bit. There's some kind of alarm going on and hit an awesome hybrid. Well, that's the shot of the day. Yeah, just for f pure ball that's strike. Awesome. That hybrid shot was really awesome. All right, so Michael and I are both in this bunker. He had a really good yeah, one. I know. Club twirl there. And uh, yeah, that was a beautiful shot there. So I have an eight iron, I, which is, actually no, I have a nine iron, because I need some loft to get over this lip. Really trying to keep everything very level and not trying to put anything extra into it, just very level. And uh, actually I can hit a little higher if I feel a little bit more aggressive at it. It gets my bottom hand working a little bit more. So even though it looked like I swung too hard at that, the ball will come out a little higher for me when I do that. So I hit it out of the bunker really nicely. This is still, this is a seven iron that I, that I thinned, but it got over the green side bunker, hit the wet grass, slowed down, and I have like a, like a 30 or 35 foot putt for birdie. And Christina put it on the green. She'll oh, have a birdie a putt as well. Sit down. Yeah, pin high. Cool. So 
So I was just telling Christina that she'll be the first woman on my channel because in the demographics, uh, when you look on YouTube, I can see 96% of the people who are watching are guys, but I would like to change that to at least get women in the 10% or something like that. So uh, I guess everybody always asks you, so how, how long have you golfed since your dad was, was a golfer? I actually started playing at the age of 15. Oh, so super late. Yeah, for very, what very people late. would think. Yeah. Yeah, I played every other sport possible and then finally picked up golf at age 15. Wow. And then and then but even picking it up late, you were able to play college golf. I did. Yeah. So That's cool. All four years? Uh yes, all four years. Awesome. Florida Atlantic University, I think is where she went. Okay, so um moving on to my match with Michael. So this is a a birdie putt. Like I said, I think it's about 30, yeah, 35 feet or so, something like that. About 12 steps away. I usually walk it off to know. Yeah, I'm hitting a lot of really good legs with this putter. I need to just spend an entire day just playing these putting games that I always play when I want to get sharp at my putting. And that's my par. Just with my putter, just to get, you know, just kind of introduce myself and get to know my putter. Yeah, just doing drills and different things to start building confidence in this new putter. Start to love it as much and even more than I love my old one. Good par for Christina. Michael made par as well. Stays at four over par and I stayed at Beautiful even. Move. So I still have a four stroke advantage on him. He just hit a great shot here though. Oh, kick came up. Towards it. Yep, came up just a little bit okay. short. But it's on the green. This is 155 yards. Like I said, I'm mean, even at this point. This hole just eats me up. For some reason, it's only 155 oh, yards, no. but I never hit a good shot on this hole. Yeah, this is the hole that sunk my chances in the Long Beach City Championship last summer. But I did get over the, the water. I'm in the bunker. Chase. Baiting. Yep. Should hit that hill and go close. You can hear he he makes an awesome sound with with basically every shot he hits, oh. but they're uh, they're not coming out right. He hit that over the water, but then it went backwards into it. Christine hit a great shot. Kick left. Just past the hole. Really good shot. Good shot. All right. So getting into this bunker. This is, all right, slow motion shot, cool. Yeah, getting my feet set, super difficult lie. They've just like added a ton of extra sand in these bunkers or something. So uh, I've got to be super aggressive to get this out and also kind of dig the leading edge to make sure that it gets out. And I'm really watching it, it just barely got out. And uh, because the leading edge was kind of shut, it ran through. Yeah, give me a putt is what I'm telling you. I at least want to be putting. Because I feel like as long as I'm putting, I have a chance. Okay, so this is Christina for her birdie. Yeah. Thanks. Good birdie on a par. That's a skin. Thank you. Or so I thought. I didn't think anybody would do better than that. So from off the green, oh, look at Chase and Christina. How sweet. All right, from off the green, here's Not Michael. Not a skin. Oh, Not a skin. All right. Cut her up. Yeah, two birdies on this par three. That's pretty good. Makes up for the uh, performance that our group had on the last par three. Well, it doesn't quite make up for it, but. Okay, so walking it off. So I'm counting my steps there. That kind of gives me a good gauge. And I'm actually giving this the full routine here, really trying to make this one. And I felt like those guys had just made two putts in this hole. I felt like I really had a good chance to make it. No. Bogey for me. So I moved to one over par. So now Michael with the two hardest the two the two hardest holes on this side are 17 and 18. And with Michael making birdie and me making bogey on the 16th. Love that Michael. There's only, I only have a two stroke advantage on him now. So that's what I'm talking about when that's why I knew those par putts earlier were so crucial. I knew it would get tighter. So 
I'm one over, Michael's three over. And I'm getting back into my routine that was helping me so much black gold. I'm thinking low, slow, and go. I'll tell you more about that later in, in another vlog, probably. Chase just that out in the street hit a huge, like probably a 300-yard slice that went into the street and then hit another one. And this one was killed. Damn, that's good. That's going to be a good first game. <laughs> I've heard a lot of golf cliches. I have not heard when you hit a second shot and then say second team All American, which Chase has heard a lot. So uh, always glad to hear something, something new, funny to say on the golf course. Yeah, Christina hit a great drive. All right, so I told Christina that these are the two hardest holes on this side, and in the Long Beach Open, if you make par par on these holes you're basically getting uh, you're not getting a full stroke but you, if you make par par on these two holes in the Long Beach Open you're getting a half stroke on the field I would say especially because they play Skylinks before the cut so I told her she's gotta Golf shot. finish right. the last two holes yes all right in eight strokes total so she she's on the green and these are really, I mean, she's playing from the whites, and these are extremely long holes for women. Yeah, that was really well balanced. Seven iron from 165 yards, still called out. Hit a pin high, Michael's on the green, putting for birdie. Here's Christina for her birdie. Just, yeah, good speed just started it on the wrong. I don't think she uh, got it started over the spot she wanted to. Come on, fill the cup. That's Fill Michael's up. putt for birdie. Almost oh. made it. And uh, remember, we're in a tight match here. So he walks up to finish it. And what oh, was that? No. And he looks at me with this, this guilty oh. look on his face. It, it was really funny. <laughs> So let's check that out again. So what should we do? This is a, uh, he goes to tap it in. What is that? Half tops it and then has to hit it again. But uh, I don't think, I don't think I'll make him. I don't know. I didn't know what I was gonna do about that. So uh, I know in the world of the internet that, that does not fly. So that is my putt for birdie that missed. And this one, I should really take, pay more attention myself to these super short ones instead of uh, laughing about anybody else. Because I've been there, I've missed those. I've missed those on camera. You've seen me do that on this channel. Yeah. Okay, so. Watch, on pace. Exactly. One more on par, pace. you did it. On pace, so she, she uh, parred 17. Let's see if she can par 18. Which is tough because it's 410 yards from the women's tee. Michael hit it up the right hand side. Go ahead, Chase. Uh, not an awesome drive there. Into the trees. Yeah, this is, I think, I don't know. I don't have the scorecard with me. I think it's 460 yards or something. If you guys saw, so it's totally different because now it is late November and cold out and the fairways are very wet and grown so Monty when he played for all the different excuses Monty when he played here hit it to about 60 yards and I hit this drive here and I hit it really well right down the middle and I have 191 yards Monty's much longer than me but the uh, conditions are different too all right it's getting a little warmer out and Christine is playing a lot better Awesome uh, drive there. That fairway kicks left. Yeah. So you gotta watch it. No, you're good. No, no, totally good. Awesome drive. Christina, did your dad teach you how to play golf, or did you just did he just leave you to figure it out on your own for the most part? Or? No, he taught me. He uh, he kind of he was my coach. Okay. Pretty much my. What's the What's the one thing that like he always comes back to and always tells you to do? For me, it's spine angle. Always stay. What do you mean by that? Spine angle. 
So when you set up, uh -huh. a lot of people tend to shift right. Are you talking about like a down the line view or a, a face on? Like straight on. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. people, when they take it back, they'll kind of tilt. I tend to tilt a little left. Yeah. And tilt a little right when I come through. Yeah. So he always told me just consider yourself kind of in a in a cylinder yep and you have to stay in that angle and you just want to rotate around your spine so your spine never really moves right so he doesn't like see like a lot of sway off exactly. and then have to reconnect with that yeah just stay and right that, on you know it. a lot of people explain it differently but for me that really connected because i would just think of all right think of my spine as a straight board and my whole body just needs to rotate around yeah. it yeah i think that works better than like telling people just to keep their head in the same spot because sometimes their head stays in the spot but their body's shifting like all over right. the place yeah exactly and that was the thing i i tend to move my head a lot and so it was just you know head to toe stay there but he was a very fundamental person it always came yeah. back to the basics and yeah nothing like wacky theory or anything no just and he'd only give me one tested. thing at a time and a lot of the yeah. times when he plays with amateurs he'll first thing he'll do is check their grip because uh -huh. the majority of the time it's just some little tiny grip change you fix it a little bit and it's like wow that that did you know wonders yeah you don't even have to get into the weeds of right. uh everyone's like okay well, what am i doing yeah, you know right. this is i gotta come up higher i gotta be more flat more steep it's you know they're trying to get all technical it's like well you know your grip's a little weak or it's a little too strong or yeah then you're compensating for that so just fix it at the root of the problem exactly and, yeah. so really just you gotta start from the basics and then move up from there really awesome to get that insight imagine if we could get bernhardt on be better golf one day that'd be awesome all right so uh sh christina because she had yeah, 195 yards that's she that's had to over water she I'll laid up and gave herself a really good angle. All right, so I'm using the, that rangefinder you, you guys saw me do a review on, uh, that Nikon rangefinder, and I am 191 yards out. This is a four iron, it's still pretty cold out. And to the left there, there's water. So you see where the, the fence bends, the driving range fence, that's where I'm aiming. So this is a four iron, totally awesome shot here. I hit it exactly on the line I wanted to, which was safely into the center of the green. And with Michael kind of in trouble, being on the green was huge for me. Great pitch here, very Come good. On. All right, you got a putt for an eight. Well, not a no, uh, putt for eight on the last two holes. Christina actually is a, a lifelong athlete, and once you give her a goal like that, she's really competitive. So she was, she was legitimate, legitimately trying to do that. Yeah, great lag yeah, putt here. All right, so this is for one over, which uh, seals the deal and wins me the match against Michael. 37 one over from the blacks which i think is like 35 50 or something like that playing even longer because of the uh super cold weather especially the first four holes or so so christina to make to finish but she's even par over finish. the last three there you go which is really good well done one put her there in the last three. <laughs> all right good finish good, job. good to meet you you yeah. too thanks for playing Chase, put it there. All right, guys. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, hit the subscribe button. Lots more interesting stuff coming up. Later. Yeah, everybody. Thanks for watching that. I really appreciate it. if you've watched this far. Uh, I really appreciate you watching the entire video. It means a lot to me. So uh, a lot of, like I said, a lot of really interesting things coming up. Uh, I have to make a video because there's two huge announcements. And uh, when I say huge announcements, I know you guys are thinking, oh, it's just boring channel news stuff. No, like something you guys are absolutely, something you guys are going to like, you're really going to like, but then something you guys are going to absolutely flip out about is coming up in this channel really soon. So stay tuned and make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps a lot to get a lot of subscribers wow. because then it convinces yeah. uh, all these other oh, club manufacturers and all these other uh, people that I 
want to be on the channel to come on the channel because you know a bigger subscriber number gets more attention from them all right thanks for watching everybody later bye